Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm Ephraim225 and with me once again is... The Navi! Navi spelled backwards. <laughs> so it turns out that Ship of Harkinian has a feature that lets you reload in the same place you saved. So that's why we're starting in the market, but we're actually going to head down to Lon Lon Ranch and do stuff there. I was planning on going to the forest straight away, but since we don't boot back there, might as well do this first. True. Ah, Lon Lon Ranch. I have to think on, like, what a lot of this place was probably inspired by. It's a ranch. We... It's not that difficult. <laughs> that's fair. I guess it's also because, like, I remember... Because we talked last time about how the characters have some connections to Link to the Past. Ooh, boy. Oh, what am I doing? Just shoot it. <laughs> yeah, you had me scared for a sec. <laughs> uh. So I suppose I will, uh... Do something other than talk to anybody at the moment. Gonna use the back walking trick because that's faster than normal walking. At least if you're not rubbing up against a fence or anything. <laughs> I've... With all the tricks I've seen throughout the years, like... I know nowadays speedrunners just use, like, the bomb hovering glitch, which, hell, I don't even know. I don't try to glitch out any of the games I play, but... It's always interesting to see, like, how many people get across this, since... I have to ask you, at least. How do you feel with how big Hyrule Field is in this game? Uh, it's big, it's open, and it's got absolute nada in it. Uh, I don't get why they decided to do that, man. I mean, it was it's big, cool. it's big, it was space. big, it was beautiful, it was a technological marvel, you know. Also, we have cows, I thought I should point that out. Actually, there's cows. nothing in here. Okay, never no. mind, I thought there was something. Can you land on these? I, I must know. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I didn't think so. There's enough space here to get into this crawl space where we can find a heart piece in the cow shed, or I guess the milk den, or whatever you want to call it. Is this a barn? Is this a silo? I never understood what this place is. They've got a barn, so I guess... I don't really know, but it's just so weird because it's like in the deep corner of the ranch where nobody seems to go. Even the ranch is big and empty, to be honest. I think like side hopping is faster, but like backstepping requires less inputs, something like that. I'm like a little horse. Or it's a pony. I think those are the same thing. I thought pony was like a baby horse. I think or that's a filly. A filly. Also, oh, poor girl. Anyways, uh, I don't know if there's any way the game directs you to this, but you can pull out your ocarina in front of her and, uh... Oh, she has to mention the song first. There you go. Please tell me I remember the buttons. Right, because it's still... It's basically Xbox controls, right? Alright, I got it. Perfect. So what does this do? Well... Not much. There might be something, actually. This does have a use as a child. Uh, yes. For a child, I mean. Ah! Also, Owl. There's a random appearance by the Owl. No one cares. Please don't touch and me. And now, opponent. <laughs> Why are you pushing me? You're pushing me out of the... Dude. Are you sure she likes me? She seems to be pushing me. She... <laughs> and now she's she running does. away from she's... me again. <laughs> uh... Also, I there, that horse the, was gonna escape look, for a look second. Look at this horse, by the way. It's all the uh, way over here for no reason. Because I keep wondering if it's possible to maybe get it out of the ranch entirely, but no, I don't think so. 
Here's the thing, you mentioned there might be... Okay. What? Well, no, no. Yes. Now for everyone's favorite minigame. How the heck does he sleep through this many cuckoos in his house? Uh... Heavy sleeper, I guess. He wakes up from one cuckoo. A special cuckoo? It's fair, I can fit in your pocket. I guess. 30 seconds. Being able to rotate the camera breaks this minigame. Just saying. Oh, yeah. Normally, you could actually adjust the camera angle to find the cuckoos. I uh, think there's a, an yeah. actual difference between the cuckoos, but I'm not sure. I don't think so. As far as I know. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just picking at random makes you do it. As long as you're fast enough to pick him. Okay, Cuckoo. Cuckoos are flying. Ah! I don't think it actually matters what you say. Yeah. This oh, isn't Malon's milk, is it? Please tell me this isn't. <laughs> We've seen that they had cows. Okay, that's good. So... This is this is our first recovery item, and I want to mention that I actually did something in Ship of Harkini, and you can change how much the recovery items actually recover, so I nerfed basically all of the recovery items to give me a better challenge. Because milk normally restores five hearts, and it has two servings of it. That's a lot for so early in the game. Yeah, they're just, like, child Stalfos. They're not a big deal. Yeah, they're literally called stall children for a reason. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have entered the village at nighttime. You don't get the excellent Kakariko village theme. Uh, it's just nighttime. <laughs> You've got work to do <laughs> just standing there. Okay. Sounds like All an right. objective to me. Oh, let me get my slingshot, by the way. We're gonna need it. Not right. Well, I suppose doing the night stuff immediately is fine by me. Oh, yeah, because like, I was trying to think, like, what night stuff is there? Oh, there is some stuff to do. Like this? Yeah. Shoot it, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm pressing the X button, but he ain't jumping up. <laughs> it ain't that kind of ga game. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I doubled the fall damage too, I forgot. Yeah, because that normally is half. But yeah, no, like, Link doesn't get a dedicated jump button in a 3D space for another 14 years? I have no idea. It's like 15 or something. Yeah. Okay. I need to have them in the duty. There was another skull tool, wasn't there? I remember. I'm trying to remember myself. And I don't know if I'm the one to ask. I don't quite remember where all of them are. If you want to be the guy that looks up the, all of the guides for me, that's fine. But please don't do that because I, uh, I'm not collecting all of them anyways. No, I know. And besides, I think the one you're thinking of will probably reach eventually. Alright. So there was, in fact, a graveyard. To a whoever grave. took the G off the graveyard side. Ha ha. We get it. Very funny. And I'll give him ideas. In like a month or two, they'll probably turn this place into a graveyard. Uh like, Man, I've, the, the, I I, I'm bringing up a completely different game, but the graveyard theme from the 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 Zelda game on the CDI, best music ever. Ironically <laughs> enough, uh, that reminded me I have to go look at the CDI music because it's not bad. And then I'm also reminded of RZ, and it's like, oh, I'm excited for that. Ah, uh, yes. So, I. There's another modification that Ship of Harkinian can make. 
Dom Pei, the Gravekeeper, hosts his own special horrible mini-game. Where you have to dig randomly in the holes. And if you get lucky, a heart piece comes out. Now, how did I get it on the first try? Because you can force Ship of Harkinian to give it to you on the first try. Because I don't feel like wasting money on it. Uh, that's fair. Also, he oh, doesn't he doesn't second. care if you mess around with the graves. There's uh giant tunnels under the graves for some reason. Something you know. something very special is in this particular box. A new shield. Highland shield. I can equip it now, but it's too big for childling, so we actually just uh ducks down like um, an armadillo I guess or a turtle something like that but I actually really like this because it changes his hitbox so and it blocks attacks from directly above you so it's actually a little bit different from using a regular shield yeah I, I always find it kind of cute how like it's a lot very big on his back it really is like just a little kid playing with like a big toy Oops. so this particular grave is important. Anytime you see the the Triforce symbol, that's a sign that you need to use a particular song here. No, not like that. Let's play Zelda's Lullaby. You thought you were gonna play a poem of song for a second. <laughs> and maybe that summons a skeletal horse. Wouldn't that be cool? Oh lord. And thanks to Breath, we know they exist. Also, hey Don Pay, you don't mind the sun lightning storm, do you? So I'm pretty sure this counts as disturbing the dead. Because you can actually move those two headstones and summon the ghosts of old composers. Isn't that like. Um, desecrating a grave. Well, I don't know. We're heading down there anyways. <laughs> to yeah, be fair... It's the uh, royal family's own tomb, and we're disturbing it. Yeah. little thing, if it helps. The keys are actually weak to Deku Nuts. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, that's right. That makes sense, because in Metal Gear Solid, you can actually kill bats by throwing flashbangs at them. And you remind me that you could do the exact same thing in RE4. I guess oh, that's just common to all bats. So this room has... There's torches here, but it, this was actually a kill room. The torches don't do anything. You just have to kill all the enemies. Now for the freakiest enemy in the game. Literal zombies! Ah, oh, redeads. It's... Don't let them We're see you. Or that happens. Though that was kind of useless. They do that if you're just off range. Never truly told exactly what three deads are. Uh, some of the original games say that they are undead. Uh, nice. Pretty much melee say that they're just animated clay. Animated clay? Really that doesn't do make sense. Faces are wooden masks, but yeah. Also, that phrase, when the sun rises, a new warden's life will fade. What? Uh huh. I think the king might want to check who's writing these poems. Yeah. Oh, what button is it for down? I remembered right. Okay. Another song. We're just learning all sorts of songs today, aren't we? We're getting another one too. Becoming our little Mozart. Heh, <laughs> Mozart's nothing special. You gotta listen to the works of Salieri <laughs> to really get music. I'll have to keep that in mind. Also... I know. It's always been kind of a weird conception. I think the definitive answer is that Redeads are not uh, undead, though. They are just m monsters that animated in some way they're also frozen when you play the sun song little known uh thing i don't think people like um actually use this 
all that often. We are, though. Well, it... <laughs> to be fair, redeads are not quite that common. Though, yeah, it's very handy, because the... Well, I'm not quite scared of redads, but they always still send a shiver down my spine. Mm-hmm. So you're not allowed to pull the gravestones in the daytime because this kid will stop you, but Dampe is totally all right with moving the gravestones, so I don't know what's up with him, but we need it to be night again for that reason. So uh, the main effect of the Sun Song is to change the time of day, which is very helpful. There we go. I, will, I do want to give this, though. There's one thing I don't like about the Sun Song with this is... Oh, I guess they fixed that version. Oh, did was there a bug? I, I think the song set it to mid. No, uh, song normally will set the game to either midday or midnight of the following period, and Don Pei couldn't ha actually find Don Pei if you use the Sun Song in the graveyard normally. Hmm. I might have fixed that. So this I this very special grave has time. just a single re-dead in it. You do need to play the Sun Song here. The reason why I'm not so afraid of re-deads here is because their Wind Waker variants are so much more terrifying. Oh, you actually can't crouch down with High Lane Shield. Also, this wasn't in the original. You can uh, set an animation to play here. Butt stab. I don't think you sent in a uh, damage value, but it don't matter. Oh yeah, oh, I did. God. I did jump attack. So do you have to wait for the thing to oh. like, fade away, or? I think. I, I think I know what you're getting at. If not, you're also free to like check if maybe it's there. Do you play it again? If, like it's in. I don't know if it's that or if it's invisible. I think it might be invisible. Oh, you kill it, then play the song. Oh, no, song. there you go. No one is gonna find this. No one except me, because I already knew about it. So, yes, that, with that, that's four heart, heart pieces. Piece. We get a heart container. Also, I'm, I thought there was something down there, but I always just kill the re and then leave, because I hate re -deads. Here's the thing, you mentioned about defiling graves. No, if you pull the incorrect gravestone, then you're defiling a grave, because then a Poe pops out. Ah, yes. Yeah. And you mentioned the Poe brothers before. Uh, I believe they're said to be the Composer brothers, who were a pair of brothers that worked the, for the, the word family. The word Poe is in Composer, did you notice that? Yes. <laughs> Just, yeah, they're the ones that I think are implied to have made the Sun Song, and then Ganondorf didn't like that, so he murdered them. How could they literally control time with a song? Don't, don't, don't make a comment about you-know-what. <laughs> okay, Let's see if I remember how to do this right. Your fall speed is significantly slower when you hold the chicken, and this applies to many, many Zelda games, not just this one. In fact, I, I, I've done it in Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, you have, like, a paraglider, so it's not that helpful, but it's there. Oh, yeah. You know, they said they broke a lot of traditions, but there's some traditions they kept. My cuckoos. Now you're making me think about how someone has actually made an automatic cuckoo egg farm with the machines in Tears of the Kingdom, yes. They have, like, a cage around themselves so that the cuckoo swarm doesn't kill them. Also, every cuckoo actually acts as it's not unique. That's interesting. Also, say, dang. Say what? Well, I'm guessing because, like, you know, I thought the cuckoo swarm were, like, a different are saying like they trigger the cuckoo attacks or do they just they do but the, but they have to surround themselves in the cage so that they don't fly in and attack and they each are their own cuckoo like they're not like just there for the swarm so they get there and then they can stare and drop eggs mm -hmm. that's interesting i'll use deku nuts for this 
You have to get that one moving in order to get it off the little platform. Oh, I, see, see, I always subscribe to the Koku and I would jump off the upper ledge to get it. I kind of oh, like, yeah. there's a lot of ways to really do this. Oh yeah, you've mentioned it a couple times to me and I uh, never really learned how to do it. I feel like I should have. Pretty grab easy. It. Grab it. Once you, like, there you go. You just grab that Koku, you go on top of that ledge there, and then you just jump off from up there. I've been doing it this way for 20 years. I'm not about to change it now. Me. You told me about how, like, you... Well, oh, yeah, you could go through that uh, building to get to the back of the building, but I always just took the cuckoo back there, just so I don't have to transition. Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. What was the chicken doing in the box? Was... There was a chicken yeah, me, in the box. Like, the whole thing is that... <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, there, uh, there's one more, I believe. There are seven in total. I believe there's one by there's the entrance more. and one by the exit. Yes. Hey, to kind of go on this, uh, that lady who's kind of shaking her head next to the pen lost all her cuckoos because she's the one supposed to take care of the cuckoos, but she has a cook. She has a cuckoo allergy. Which kind of makes you wonder why you don't don't just ship them to Long Long Ranch. That's true. I mean, you have seen how many cuckoos Malin has. Uh, uh, Kakariko. It's kind of crazy to see like the different iteration of Kakariko Village over the years. Because I know in Link to the Past, it was just a rural village. Same like how it is here. Like on the opposite Except... side of the map, too. Yeah! The only weird thing about this place is that it has a bit more lore to it that you'd ex than you'd expect from a rural town. But then again, every town has a some extra lore you never expect. That's a weird way to phrase it. Right. Your it's reward is a, is a glass bottle. It's a good thing that this is the most useful item in the entire game. Otherwise, I would be upset at getting something that I could buy just by emptying a water bottle from your local grocery store. It's, it's true. It's also crazy to consider that bottles are a rare commodity in this world when you think about it. Oh, yeah, like... I, I guess there was nothing in that one. There's like four in the entire world. There are more of them in Termina. Six. Seven if you count the 3D port. I'm... I'm 12, thank you. <laughs> yes, and we have signposts in Kokiri Forest. <laughs> Ah, uh, what a funny game. Alright then, Mr. Hero, go ahead and go into the dangerous mountain that has been prone to erupt. On the climate. So, yes, you, you mentioned that you mentioned that if you go back to the market and try to buy the Hylian Shield after talking to this guy, you do indeed get a discount. I can confirm. You do. There's a free yeah, one you can normally... get by grave robbing. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, and he also talks about the Happy Masks shop. The masks. They're not super, like, important in this game, although Ship of Harkinian has an option to turn the Bunny Hood into its Majora's Mask counterpart with the speed-boosting effect. What am I thinking? <laughs> That'll... All I can say, that alone was probably the only... Is probably the main reason why I play Ship of Harkinian over Vanilla. Just for that. I, the Bunny Hood has always been my favorite item in the 3D games, period. I'm also glad in some ports it's a dedicated button. Did you know that Sonic the Hedgehog with a um, with a Bunny Hood can outrun F-Zero machines? Yes. Can't he run on the track itself? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I love it so much. Be careful. 
Yeah, tech types are kind of annoying. I think they're also weak to the Deku Nuts, if I remember. I guess we can check it out. Well, yeah, there you they go. do stun. Well, that's what I mean. Like, Deku Nuts don't really kill any much. They're more just for stunning. Hmm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, whatever you do, please be very careful when this thing approaches. You do not want to get hit and knocked into the abyss down below. That would be very embarrassing for you. Despite the fact that it looks like the path back to the town, no, it's a bottomless pit. Somehow. Yes, it's just too high. Everyone in this town is high. Welcome to Goron City. Oh, rock people. Rock people, yes. I guess dwarves were too cool for Zelda. <laughs> they say that, but they're... Oh, no, wait. Are they... Are the blacksmith dwarves in... Huh. I, I mean, smithing and dwarves are, like, just one of those classic combinations. You think of dwarves, you think of crafting and mining and stuff. That's true. It's after the redstone. Imagine having, like... A very precious, rare, important gem, and everyone just thinks, Oops. oh, that looks like a delicious snack. Okay, that hurt. Y yeah, your chin's okay there, champ? Mm-hmm. So, we could c advance the plot, or we could do fun stuff. I think it's- I think we should do fun stuff first. What fun stuff you have in mind? Uh... Oh, you know what? I think I think we do have to actually, like, advance the plot a little, because there's no way to get a torch going without this. So you need to prove that you're connected to the royal family, so of course, here's Zelda's lullaby. So if a song works as identification, that means anyone who hears this tune could pose as a member of the royal family, i.e. me. Here's the thing, though. Does anybody have an instrument to play it? Gorons play drums, don't they? I mean, they could, but it's not really often. I think we've only seen like two times we've ever seen Gorons play drums. Dodongo's Cavern. Yeah. Yeah, it's called the Dodongo's Cavern, and big surprise, there's Dodongo's! Well, yeah. You, well, like... you're doing a great job solving it yourself. You guys can't even get in the cavern. I don't know if he's mentioned it yet, but like, one of the funniest things I've always heard about with that is like, the Gorons are implied to eat rocks. Like, their whole diet is they eat rocks. There are rocks and everywhere. Also, I'm spinning. Whee! You spin me right <laughs> round, baby, right round. Also, you can light these bombs by getting them with fire. Not an easy thing to figure out yourself. Most people just come here when they have bombs. Yeah. So, the reason why I mentioned that is because they said that... I think, I guess I even mentioned it was because it was infested, not that it was blocked off. Come on, can so... I get there in time? Yes. So you hear the music, right, don't you? Up. Well, the viewers will hear the music at least. Actually, uh, Steve, before you head out, I want you to talk to that Goron right in front for me real quick. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Let's see. By the way, did you know the music coming from deep inside a tunnel? We all like this music. How can they yeah. hear the background music? <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, we do need to go back there. Go figure. Yeah. Oh, that's the thing. I, For me, I think that's the hint on what you're supposed to go next. Right. Because it turns out that this is actually a shortcut to the Lost Woods. Why is there a shortcut to the Lost Woods? Go away, Mr. Owl. I don't want to know how, how many licks you... it takes to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop. Yes, we know it's three. <laughs> I remember those commercials. Oh man, that makes that's going to make us feel so old. Why am I why am I looking uh, at this? 
Oh, trust me, I have plenty of things like that. If I remember, Ocarina came out in 97, right? Right. I'm as old as this game. Wow. Yeah. I'm older. Trust me. <laughs> oh, that so, makes things so worse. So there's stuff to do around the Lost Woods. Let's try and distract ourselves. You just find the sweet spot on this bullseye and hit it three times. Though I do like that they made a bullseye out of a simple section of a log. They use the, uh, like, what do you call it? The grain of the log as the bullseye? The rings? The rings. Yeah. There's but your other... It's actually there's your other seed bag upgrade. Bingo. It's, it is isn't you know, because here's a little fact for you. The rings on a tree actually can tell you how old a tree is. Every ring, I believe, is like one year. Oh, of course, that also means in order to see it, you have to cut down the tree. Poor tree. Poor tree. So, it's a Simon Says minigame. Very simple. They look creepy in this lighting, though. Now the beady red eyes. They're making it very easy. By the way, you don't have to stay on beat with this, which makes it ten times easier. Alright. There it is, finally. There Why do you have to do it? So as early as times. as early as Majora's Mask, uh, the Skull Kids were given wooden like textures over their faces, and I believe they were also given beaks, just because people could easily misconstrue their facial features for large lips as well. Hey, speaking of Skull Kids, there's another one. Oh, we we can't do anything with this one at the moment though. Uh, all I can do is just try to flashbang him, and he hops away. Oh, that was weird. I didn't jump attack. Anyway, I guess I need my other shield. Because you can only block the scrub shots with this. Yep. Also, what they spit is also a little hint. So, uh, apparently, in the original version of Ocarina of Time, if you do not get this upgrade after a certain point, it vanishes from the game completely, which is really weird. But it's just extra Deku sticks, so nobody really... Oh, hello, I got a refund. It's sort of the fact that you can get lost in the woods. I always assume that it's Navi's magic that let allows you to get find your way back safely. I mean, we're a Kokiri, obviously. Also, Wolfos... Ooh. I go for the pro strats. Well, would, would you like another pro strat? What's that? Oh, just if hit him any time. If you if you can uh, jump attack them in the back with a Deku stick, it's a one hit kill. Oh yeah, that I that, I think that makes sense because it's enough attack power to make that happen. And if you want to guarantee that, when the Wolfos gets close for that swipe, you backpedal, and if it misses, it actually turns around and stays like that for a good second. Okay, gotta, gotta, you watch, gotta watch these scrubs, by the way. I believe if you hold a uh, camera and shield, you can actually walk around with your shield out. And you're not, like, uh, locked on. You're not uh, held on to strafing. Because, like, any kind of free camera mode like this, you can actually just freely hold, run around with your shield out. Okay, that was, that was very weird, what just happened. Yeah, they do triple shots, and they're kind. Of, they have very weird hitboxes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you can play the ocarina is fine, but who's playing the drums? She's uh, got fairies doing it. Also, remember her fairy color? It was red. It's different now. So it is randomized. That's so weird. Yeah. Okay, this triggered a Mandela effect for a lot of players. They all thought that Saria's fairy never changed, but no, it does change. I suggest never playing this backwards.
Wait, why? Because uh, you know, your mind will be blown. <laughs> I thought it would be kind of soothing. Also, yeah, that's one thing. Everyone always uses this song for what's the for the quest, but actually, Saria's song also acts as a bit of a hint system. You hint know, it's system? Navi's it doesn't on... tell you anything useful. That's what I mean, like, if Navi isn't already telling you everything you need to know. There's your fairy. That's actually Tattle's colors. Okay, I guess we'll have to cheer him up with music. Oh, man. Mountain people, forest music. Brace yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. He's dancing in 60 frames! You notice that Navi's also kind of dancing, too. This is actually kind of strange. I find it cute. Also, okay. well, what they must I... have found it cute because this is his victory uh, pose in Hyrule Warriors. I was gonna say that is one of my favorite details. Uh, I love how much love Hyrule Warriors gave to the entire Zelda series. And just looking at Link's weapon set, it's nuts. Nobody thought they'd make the spinner weapon, but man, they did a good job. You can rotate the camera in this scene for some reason. Yeah, this uh, this scene's in free mode and normally, because like, it auto-corrects to being behind Link. So look at this, look at this, I love this. Well, we can't just give you the sacred treasure. Why don't you prove you're a real man by uh, destroying a bunch of big, scary, nasty dinosaurs, even though you're a pint-sized nine-year-old with a wooden shield. You know, we're rock people. We could probably punch our way through Dodongos, but we want to let you do it. Yes, we didn't have the ability to pull grass until literally just now. I like how it's on his arm wrist, too. It's like a little accessory. Oh, yes, it is. You, you can see it at this angle, I think. Yes. Yeah. Like, I always love when upgrades do that. It's, in a way, it kind of reminds me of what uh, Pseudoregalia did, where they did a similar thing. And I always love when games do that. Also, if I can at least get a little funny tangent for a sec. Since I played this game when I was like a kid, uh, I always miss I always looked at all the maps wrong. And in the case of the Goron City map, I always thought it was like a dude with a big nose. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of blocking it. the map, so I had to look. <laughs> yeah, right. I always saw was like some dude with a big nose. You can already tell what the what the big annoyance with this puzzle is. Oh, to be fair, that's not even the worst of it. Yeah, this is random too, but you can again ship of Harkinian force it to always win. Ooh. Let's see. Unless I just won anyways, and. Probably not. I no, I think that was probably set by ship. I also find that'd be a little nice nod, because like apparently back then they didn't know how to make bombs, so they just make do with bomb flowers. Also, I wonder if you can make it over to that No, there, there's no way you can make it over there. Never mind. And even then I believe that's I don't think it's triggered with that. I think it's triggered by something else. So these Gorons, they keep trying to grab the bomb and run it down there before it explodes. Just throw it, people. Is that what they're doing? Yeah, there's a Goron that try that rolls down the mountain and then explodes. He says he's trying to get a bomb to the to the cavern entrance. So that's why he's do. So that's why he explodes. Man, I don't. I'm, I've learned I don't talk to the Gorons that much. Also, uh. I think everybody knows this at this point, but if you backflip off of this, you can land up here and get this heart piece before you're supposed to be able to. Oh, no, yeah, no, this is a... Normally you would need something else, but I like sequence breaking. So I oh, suppose yeah. there's nothing stopping us from doing a dungeon now. Not really. I can't Especially wait to bomb some Dodongos! <laughs> 
I, I guess speaking of that, I was looking into the uh, RZ. Apparently, it's coming out very soon, actually. Gosh. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to hate the video at all, but yeah. According to this, like, heck, about 11 days from now. 11 days from now. Oh my goodness. We need to hurry up and finish this. <laughs> These aren't going to be uploaded on the same day we record them, of course. First episode's going up on the 6th. Okay, I guess since you said that. Yeah, it says it's going to be like either the 13th or 14th one's going to be announced and uh, up published, but it's like, I don't know if that's, you know, anything else, but that's what it says on the, on the Steam page. I'm actually kind of excited for I'm gonna be completely. You know? I'm going to be completely honest with you. I sincerely hope they have a parody of Harlequin and Lupe, or I am not buying. From what I've seen from the trailers, I don't know, but it's very promising. They have, like, a lot of the key characters you can think of. And again, the fact that they actually even found, like, Link and Zelda's voice actors from the CDI games, not to reprise their roles, but have roles that are pretty much their characters. They're pretty much reprising their roles. I mean, it's all but said. Yeah, because, like, for example, uh, Link's character is, I think, a washed-up hero, and he basically looks like Link without a hat and has a mustache. A mustache? That's gonna ruin it. Well, they have to make sure it's di legally distinct. <laughs> the developers are already called CDI. I don't know how much else, how much closer you can get than that. So these are miniature Dodongos. They explode when you kill them. I don't know why. But... If we, My joke uh... Is that... What? My oh, joke perfect. is that... Enemies that blow up, I always just think their blood is made of gunpowder. Please tell me that's close enough. No. Not quite. So yes, this is a bombable wall. You're supposed to come back here with bombs, yada yada yada. Alright, I should probably stop messing around with this. You're supposed to come back later anyways. I don't think there's anything in there even. No, not that I know of. That's one thing I kind of always forget about the Dongus Cavern is, yeah, there's a lot of, like, uh, hidden alcoves and stuff you can explore, but a lot of the stuff behind them isn't really optional. Not even mandatory for the plot. It's why I usually never come back to this place. I mean, I don't see why you would. Nice shot, by the way. <laughs> nice shot. I mean, you took him out and got the pots. Versus Lizard Man, fight! Oh, Lizalfos. I legitimately did mistake the Lizard Man and Soul Calibur for these guys, but I love them. So silly. Isn't this a Soul Calibur game? I mean, I did say it at the beginning. It's a, it's a, it's a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. That's true. And I mean, to be fair, you could get rung out here, though. Instead of an op instead of getting instantly knocked out, you just get lit on fire. I don't know if that's better or worse. I want there to be a... Oh, by the way, I'm doing the damage trick again, where you turn your crouch stab into a murder machine. You won't learn oh, that yeah. one in Soul Calibur. <laughs> everyone's everyone's too busy stab. trying to soul charge. I'm just hitting you in the knees. Uh, it's funny, because I was playing a bit of S uh, SC6 today. Though mostly just trying to figure out Yoshimitsu's moveset, because his moveset's fun and ridiculous. Try Tekken 8 instead. <laughs> That'll teach you. I just I just also, love that you can one-shot them that way. It's so cool. I'm also trying to remember if this was... No, I mean, I guess technically Majora. It's always confusing, because I always assume like this is the last game in the N64, but technically that's Majora. And there is some differences. I'm trying to remember if the Dongos ever made an appearance in later Zelda games after this. Uh, there's Oracle of Seasons, and that's about it. Oh, Hyrule Warriors counts. Oh yeah, because King Dodongo's in there. 
You know, the orc the babes do count because Dimitri the Dodongo. That is also true. I really need to give the Oracle games another shot. I... That's one thing I kind of don't like about the eShop is that they don't actually sync them with the radio infrared thing that the Game Boy had. You had to put in the passcodes, and it's so annoying. I mean, it's just one option. I don't know. You if say that. In here. Oh yeah, there's, no, a, there's a chest. It's a compass. Also, Watch Armos. Out. We have Armos. Yep. Apparently that dinky little sword and shield they carry is strong enough to be a weapon in SC2 for Link. You have to you have to use bombs, don't you? I think. Okay, apparently not. Ah, uh, you do. It just they also have to be active. They're kind of oh. I deku nutted him. <laughs> Oh yeah, I've been doing this already, but if you have a bomb on your head, or you're carrying a bomb rather, and you shield, it'll just drop where you stand. Oh, you know, it's you're... a it's one of the best ways to make sure it's perfect, like right here. Mm-hmm. Because I'm not it's where... yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rubies. That is one thing. They've confirmed Link and Zelda's voices. They have a Morshu like, but we don't know if he's actually voiced. He, the voice actor sounds very close. By the way, a cool thing. He can back. Yeah, I was gonna say. This is the only way you should be allowed to go upstairs. Oh, you're athletic enough for it. Please don't backflip upstairs in real life, folks. Unless you're an acrobat. Uh. <laughs> and I'm having one of those silly thoughts, like. I wonder if people in, like, the circus, if acrobats actually go upstairs that way. Okay, I'm gonna have to shoot them. Yeah, the mouthful name Skull Walchulas. We should have ten by the end of this. I'm trying to remember, I believe so. Oh. Who lit the bats on fire? Yeah, the bats are on fire now, which means they'll destroy your shield. <laughs> Man, I mean, it's, a, some it's a wood us. shield, but it does absolutely nothing against your slingshot. To be fair, those are like... Oh, God. You have to remember, seeds are pretty dang hard. I know. I don't know if you've ever whoa, been whoa, hit with... Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? I, guess I, came I got on top of it. I got, I got on top of it. Get me back on Came top of it. How did I do that? I have no idea. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> guess you could boost yourself? If you squeeze I it don't know how that happened. Maybe, maybe By it's... By the way. It's probably just the ship people. I was gonna say, is, is the ladder double layered? Are there two ladders? Uh... I don't think so. Are you sure? I, I thought I saw two ladders. <laughs> this game is... This game. Mm-hmm. Bingo. I still sometimes think about the development of Ocarina. I kind of wish I knew a bit more about it, honestly. Look up leaked betas or something. No, I mean, I have been, trust me. I love hearing about this stuff. It's just... With Ocarina, I guess one of the things I would love to know is... I'd love to know exactly what, like, the bait... What the original beta storyline was going to be like. Because I know one big thing was they... Rehauled the story, like, late in development. I don't know why that's there. I need hearts. Okay, here's a really annoying thing you have to do. I don't know if this is the intended method. But you've got to get the bomb onto that tiny little ledge. Or just throw it in a, like, throw it while it's exploding or something. Yeah, I think they imply that they want you to time the throw. Or just a second off. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. Now, there you go. Thank you. You know, I think I got it on the ledge too. Just, <laughs> to, just to rub it in. Yeah, perfectly. Fire, fire hexagons. Yeah, that was weird. I guess I have active hitboxes. Oh gosh. Oh, is this round two? Okay, get over here, please. That's another thing, like, Lizalto's more from Zelda 2. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I also kind of miss with developers. Nowadays, developers, if they don't think ideas will work, they never bring anything back. Nintendo, though, no. They'll bring an idea back if they feel like there's some merit to it. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, that was very strange. Uh, you can jump down to get back onto the first floor. There's no reason to do that, but there's hearts over there. Actually, hold on. Uh, is there a lava fall around here? Yeah. You can jump through it. I'm not interested in testing it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, would you- if it's a flowing magma, would you call it a lava fall, or would it just be, like, another name for it? I would call it video game really hot liquid. <laughs> Pretend there's a really long chest animation. We got the bomb bag! Now we have portable bombs, and the bag is made from a Dodongo's stomach. I don't know why. So I don't know why they, like, throw in that tiny little thing about the Dodongo's stomach. It's gross, and it doesn't make any sense anyways, because Dodongos dislike smoke, so we kill them with bombs. Also, I'm just blowing that up to show you there's a thing there. It doesn't really go anywhere. When you mention that, that is kind of true, because, like, I get the logic behind it, because they're saying, like, you know, back then, to carry important stuff, they made it out of animal hides and, like, animal stomachs, but, like, a Dodongo's stomach isn't strong enough to hold bombs. They always blow up when they get, when they eat bombs. Whoops. I, I think I did it wrong. <laughs> oh, what are you trying to do? Definitely not that, but that's one way to... That works. Okay, let's... You should be able to on this. Yeah, yeah, you can walk around it. Oh. Oh, hey! I didn't even know they made an animation for that. Well, okay, that's... I didn't get to see what was on the other side of the thing up there, but we can advance now. We're coming back here later anyways to get the rest of the Skultulas. And to be fair, if you really want to know, there's like the pillar on the left is uh, shifting. Though, I also remember if you want me to tell you, because it actually is a little nice detail. Sure, go ahead. In that, if you go past that bridge, there's a bombable wall, which, if you open it, will give you a spare uh, Deku shield if your current one was already burned up. So yeah, they actually give you a spare here in case your old one might have gotten burned up. What's inside of it if you don't already have a shield? I believe it's a blue rupee. Boo. Not even worth it. <laughs> it's basically like a little... Here, so you don't have to buy another wooden shield. It's funny to think that though your wooden shield will get burnt, your, your metal shield will not conduct electricity. But then again, I'm kind of thankful for that. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, would you want your Hylian shield to conduct electricity? No. No, thank you. See, I... I, I, I guess what confused me, because I know you're probably talking about uh, Skyward Sword, but... It's, it's, in it's like, you know, that or Breath of the Wild. It's funny, because, like, in Ocarina, that actually isn't the case. Oh, you can speed up the climbing animation by getting hit. 
I wouldn't recommend that because my my experience with keys, if you do that, they knock you off. Very. All oh, right, this is technically the. I don't know, forget that. Yeah, it's tr it's a tradition where like right before a major arena, they always give you like a fairy somewhere. So apparently, you know, I'm having a Mandela effect myself, but apparently there's a way to weigh down this switch without this block. I think, yeah, I think you've mentioned it to me off, like, recordings before. Because you can normally, like, press it down yourself, but it's a temporary pressure, so you need to have something pressed down on it. What do you remember you weighed it down with? A bomb, oddly enough. Hmm. But I think that's impossible, and I'm just misremembering. Yeah, no, I don't think bombs. Maybe that's can do for that. maybe that's for a switch later on or something. I could see it. Oh, I'm guessing that's for oh bombs. bombs. It's to refresh if you in case you need them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've already spoiled the name of this boss. Love this first person view though. They really want to sell just how big this thing is. A nine year old boy versus a giant dinosaur. I mean, it's happened before. Remember how easy this was in Zelda 1? Well, if you can aim it just right. Oh, I see what you're doing. But you swing at him once. Also, I didn't know dinosaurs could breathe. Well, I was waiting to say dinosaurs could breathe. No, they did. The dongos do that. What am I saying? Two cycles. For a dinosaur, he's kind of weak. He got beaten by a stick. How Why were the Gorons the do this? How were the Gorons having so much trouble with this? Get your stupid... Alright, I'm gonna save the item spoilers. <laughs> well, like... It's funny, because they talk about how their special crops aren't coming in well. It's like, your special crops are the bomb flowers. You could blow up here. I get you, people don't know don't have a way of carrying bombs. But, like, even then, you could just use all the bomb flowers in here. You could have done this yourself, my dude. Really? You don't need to fight the dongos, feed the dongos. Something spicy. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? <laughs> also, he just knows that we blew up the everything and saved the 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 rocks. Ow! We saved the rocks. <laughs> oh god, though. Imagine getting hit by a Goron. That's gotta hurt. That's like getting hit in the head with a rock. Huh. Well, the cave was open for a long time. Well, no, I think, remember, they didn't really mention the rock, the boulder was the issue. It was the Dodongo specifically. Right. It was just that Ganondorf basically said, you know, give me the stone and I'll open the thing back up. In a way, I wonder if, like, the Ganondorf completely missed the point. We got the second colorful gem thing. There's probably going to be a third. With all this talk about eating rocks, I wonder what it tastes like. A ruby? Oh, what hey, a ruby hey, uh, like? do you think we have enough rubies now? <laughs> What's a ruby? Rubles? Rubbles? Rubble. Rumble, Rumble. <laughs> uh, I feel kind of bad for Link here, though. Everyone wants to give him a hug, but like a hug from a Goron would probably snap you in half. I think they know this. <laughs> I mean, but look at this. This scene so is even mean. more funny if you do reverse boss order and complete the dungeon as an adult.